Introducing my custom Lego Mercury Rocket. Standing next to the giant Saturn V rocket is this tiny little thing over here at the base. It only stands about two feet tall and is absolutely dwarfed by the Saturn V. This tiny thing was the rocket that put the first American astronaut into space. That is not including Yuri Gagarin, who will be done in a whole separate video. This is the Mercury Redstone rocket. It's basically just a nuclear missile without the nuclear part. It's a human rated missile. That's basically all it is. And you can see it right here next to the Saturn V. It barely gets over this little rough part right here. So this thing is absolutely tiny. It stands about two feet tall compared to the Saturn V's almost 10 feet tall <laughs> and this thing is just absolutely tiny you can see the black and white stripes going along the side of the rocket this was so the people on the ground could see how much this thing was rolling when it was getting launched that odd looking red tower on the very top is the launch escape system if this thing was having any problems the pilot could pull abort and this whole thing would just fly right off the saturn 5 has something very similar way up there Directly beneath the pilot's capsule, we have this sort of striped checkered area. This was, again, so people on the ground could see how much this thing was rolling, so they could determine how to adjust it. And directly beneath that, we can see that we use a lot of these 1x2, or you can really use 2x2 two two curved slopes, whatever. These are what I decide to use for the main body of the rocket. They turned out to work pretty well for it. You can see some markings going down the side of it that say United States on it. At the very bottom, you can see there are some more checker pattern sort of stuff here. And these are where the fins would be. You may notice that with the Mercury Redstone rockets, these had sort of a squared off fin right here. That was realistic to the real rocket, and those really had to be included on this rocket. Every single detail on this rocket is accurate, even down to the little black stripe in the middle here. Unlike the Saturn V, this thing is quite sturdy and can be rolled around. It's very easily transportable, and it's very, very sturdy. There's almost no comparison between this thing and the Saturn V. The Saturn V just absolutely dwarfs this thing. Considering that this is the largest rocket in history as of 2018, money Elon Musk, but we still have quite a small rocket here. This thing is just absolutely tiny. And considering this was basically just a missile that was mounted with a human capsule at the very top, it's really not that hard to uh, understand why this thing was one of the first rockets. This thing here was only meant to get people into low Earth orbit, whereas this giant, massive, giant missile here was used to get people to the moon. Now that we have one of the smallest rockets along with one of the biggest rockets, I'm going to start filling in the gaps in between. Some upcoming projects might be the Gemini rockets, maybe a Soyuz rocket, maybe some other things that you can suggest to me. This is going to be completely separate than the planes I plan to build. This Mercury rocket here was built out of parts that I had, no bricklink orders required, just because it's so simple. Most of these parts can be bought from your local LEGO store, from those 1x2 white curve slopes, even to those little tiles and those 2x2 black curve slopes. If I already guessed how much this thing cost, that would put the price maybe around $25 to $30. That just pales in comparison to the ungodly price of the Saturn V. Moving back to the Saturn V, you may notice that there's not much that has been done since the last update. And yeah, I know, I'm sort of taking a bit of a break here, though this thing should be completely done within the next few months. We're going to see a lot of very fast progress get taken on this thing very soon here, since I'm sort of trying to accumulate as much money as I can. And just so you have an idea of how much this base is going to cost, that's going to be in the next video. But this thing is going to get a launch tower pretty soon here. I'm not sure if the Mercury rocket right here is going to get a launch tower, but be sure to hang around so the Saturn V can get its launch tower. That's really all I have for this small build. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, so you never miss a build like this. So as always, bye for now.